All right, uh, we're gonna go off the beep. Two shots, torso size target, 50 yards. Let's see what we can do. I can miss. One nine. One seven. One seven two. Hello everyone, my name is Eric. I'm a gamer who loves guns, firearms, collecting, and shooting sports. And in today's video, we have my first shots, first look at this beautiful AR-15 right here. Now this is my fourth AR-15, and it is also my most expensive, at least straight AR-15. Now I don't consider my MCX an AR-15, I don't consider my SIG 516 an AR-15. Both of those are piston driven, and the MCX is honestly its entirely own design. Um, but in terms of straight, AR-15s, this is my newest and most expensive one. Um, in the past, I've been winning guns like Palmetto because they were what I could afford. And frankly, I'm gonna go and say this. If you have a Palmetto and it's running well for you, don't be ashamed of that rifle. I've had three of them and I've had my hands in five of them, you know, in helping build out ones for friends and family, and none of them had any issues. Now, I fully understand that Palmetto does have quality control issues. I am merely saying that in the five that I've had direct contact with, excuse me, that my, all of those ones have been solid runners. Um, I'm not saying they're just as good. They're, they're, they're frankly not. Uh, however, they are still, in my opinion, good rifles. They are not just as good as a higher end rifle, but they are still decent rifles. And especially with something like the AR-15, where it's such a modular platform the accessories you buy for a cheap rifle, you can slot into an expensive rifle later on. So like if, if you bought this Radian charging handle or this guy's the trigger, and then you upgraded your receiver sets down the line, those are still gonna be just as good in that newer rifle. And um, I have, with the ergonomics being identical, with all the parts interchangeability being identical, I see no reason why somebody who is on a budget shouldn't simply go for a Palmetto Upgrade when they can, but until then, start training with, with the rifle. That's the exact same uh, manual of arms and the ergos and caliber and magazines and everything. Just get into the game of the AR-15 with a cheaper rifle. I, I think that's totally fine. I really think that's totally fine. Um, this is my first day out shooting this thing. Full disclosure, I have shot this a bit before recording. I zeroed the optic. I did a few quick drills. And that's what I'm mainly going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing uh, drills with this rifle because... I want to become a more proficient shooter. I am on a weight loss journey right now and I'm hoping to eventually start competing in three gun and various other rifle matches um, once I am healthier. I'm actually already down 40 pounds from when I started the channel. Um, actually, uh, later than that, from my second Rattler video. Uh, if you guys should go back and watch my Rattler upgrades uh, video, you'll see I'm, I'm a lot thicker up here. So. Um, Weight loss is going great, and once I'm in better shape, I want to do a lot more competing. So I'm going to be winning some drills. I am not the best shooter yet. I'm, I'm still practicing. I'm still learning. Now, I have been shooting for roughly two years now, but I haven't been fully training hard all the time in that, in that case. I've just been getting into the sport, collecting a lot of different guns, doing other things. So today, in this, this video, I'm not really going to go over the DDM 4V7 a whole lot. Um, mainly because it's an AR-15. Like, yes, it has Daniel Aventis rail system. Yes, it has their unique furniture. Cold Air Force Clamp Barrel. Like, it's it's great, but it's it's an AR-15. Uh, it's <laughs> there's not much that's different from any other AR that you've seen. Like, I mean, I, the only real difference in even the receiver sets is that we've got a, sl a very slight beveling in the magwell and we've got a polymer dust cover. It's high quality AR-15. Um, one thing I have noticed just shooting this a bit is that she's gassy. Um, she actually has, this is a mid-length gas system and it's kicking like it's a carbine or 
uh, something even spicier. Uh, so I might be even putting a heavier buffer in. What I've already changed on the gun that isn't stock from Daniel Defense is I put in a Geisley three gun trigger. I put in a Radian Raptor charging handle. And I put on my Yankee Hill Machine um, Phantom Flash Hider with the QD support for my suppressor. I have a Yankee Hill uh, Resonator K that is in NFA jail. So once that comes out, uh, this gun will be ready to take it. And so yeah, I know 5 s doesn't suppress well. That's why I'm okay with a K can and a 30 cal can on it. Um, mainly it's just so I can put something for signature reduction on this gun. Um, 16 inch DDM 47. Let's go ahead and uh, just run some basic drills. Okay, so I am about 10 yards from the target. I wish I had IDPA torsos, I don't. Uh, I just have a standard uh, target circle here. So for our first drill I'm gonna be running is just the basic ups drill. So that's gonna be low ready, beep goes off, up the shoulder, one shot. And we're gonna try and get that into under a second. Um, and I'm gonna try and get inside, my goal right now is inside the um, first ring. So not bullseye, but the first ring outside of that. So the, the um, I believe that's either the nine or the 10 ring. But uh, yeah, gun is hot. Shot timer's ready right here. There we go. Zero nine two. Okay, I can go a lot faster than under one second. Um, I actually, what happened there is, I got up on the gun, and I was low, so I had to float it up higher. Um, shot was great though. That was in the bullseye. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one. One four. A little slow again. Zero nine six. Let's try and make that go under zero seven five now. Another bullseye. Zero eight six. The bullseye. Zero eight seven. I mean, the bullseye is massive. It's like the size of my fist, and it's ten yards. So. The bullseye isn't impressive, I'm just having everything roughly where I want to be on the target. Hesitated there, one, two, nine. So you're at eight. I keep doing that, so that's something I need to work on. I'm going up, finding my sight, and then shooting. I need to be speeding that process up. I need to acquire it, I need to not worry about perfect sight alignment, and I need to get the shots on the target. Fuck. I knew I was over a second. Rest is a win. I'm, I'm, I'm bobbing in the sight, I'm bobbing in the sight. Still bobbing, still bobbing. Zero nine nine, come on. Zero eight eight. Come on, Eric, you can do this. Zero eight seven. Zero nine. Ah. Zero eight eight. Zero seven one. There we go. I knew that one felt good. Zero seven two, but I flung that shot out into the ring where I don't want to count it, so it doesn't count. Zero eight nine, bobbed again. Zero seven nine. Zero eight five. Zero seven three. Okay. All right, well, let's go and show you the target. So overall, I'm not too unhappy with that. So like I said, I wish I had a, I wish I had a torso, um, but I don't. So 
We kept everything within the tin ring except for that one shot at 072 that I definitely did uh, fling out there. But all in all, I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, so next we're gonna be doing target transition. So I have three targets all at 10 yards from me. I'm gonna put two shots into each target uh, going middle, left, right. So the right's gonna be the hardest one. Um, and I am not particularly good at target transitions. Um, so my goal is to be under, under four seconds, let's say. Um, I, I'm not certain, but just feeling it myself here, that's gonna be uh, tight for me. Um, I haven't practiced target transitions that much, so it's an important skill, especially if I want to be doing competition shooting, so here we go. Okay, I think I set the bar way too high. Um, I said I wanted it in under uh, four seconds. That was 261. Um, what I'm seeing right now though, uh, first target is great. I got two in the 10 rank. Second target is awful. I've got one low, one high. Um, third target is actually, oh, I thought the worst on, I actually did better than the second on. I did uh, one in the 10, one in the nine. Um, but yeah, so we've got nine and eight on the two. So that first swap, I was going fast and I think I just let the recoil run me because I hit low when I was doing the transition over and then the high on the next shot over. So, um, room to improve there, room to improve there. Here we go. Seven. I slowed down there. I slowed down. Huh. 323. Here we go again. I had to stop. My ear pro came out. <laughs> It wasn't all the way out, but uh, I was like, oh, no, I feel it working its way out. That's getting louder. Uh, damn it. That was gonna be a good one too. That was gonna be a good one. Damn it. Uh, I can feel my uh, handguard getting pretty hot right now. Um, Let's do one more run, then let the gun cool down a bit, and uh, also show you guys all the targets. Last one, here we go. Two fifty-three. Let's go see the targets. <laughs> So there's target one. Um, yeah, so we had three shots landed in the nine ring, but the rest of us was pretty tight in there on the uh, on that ten and on that bullseye. And I did uh, use stickers to uh, clean up from our original um, ups drill. So that's all new shots from this drill. Target number two, a little bit worse. Not gonna lie, a little bit worse. So we had uh, one shot in the eight three in the nine and the rest in the 10 and in the bullseye. Target number three in the final transition. Um, a lot of horizontal uh, spreading. So that's definitely me firing early and firing late on that transition. So we got four shots in the nine ring and the rest in the 10 and in the bullseye. All in all, that's not horrible, but I wanna be doing a lot better. Before I uh, go into the competition, I want to I want to feel strong. So uh, yeah. Okay, so this last drill we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, I am now on the 50 yard range. I have a AR550 steel 66% IDPA torso out there. And what we're gonna do is we're going to do three shots standing. 
three shots crouching, three shots prone. And that's three shots connecting, three hits. So a perfect one would be nine shots fired. Um, obviously I can go more than that though. Um, I really have no idea what sort of part time I want for this at all. Um, also recording this is gonna be really hard because I'm out here alone, I don't have someone working, winning the camera for me. Um, I'm zoomed the lens all the way out, which is why things look a little different. I'm gonna try and stay in the shot for most of it. When I go prone, you might lose me. It's hard for me to see, like, my eyes actually aren't that great. I need to have my prescription. And uh, I, I really can't see uh, if I'm really even in focus in the shot. Like, I know I'm in the shot here, but like, this is roughly where I'm gonna be doing the drill back here. And so, when I go prone, I might be out of the shot. So, sorry guys, I don't know. It's gonna be easier by the camera guy, I don't. But this is our last drill that we're gonna be running for the, the day here. Is unsafe. Okay, I think I did that in 10 shots in 20 seconds. Oh man. Okay, so uh, 20 seconds, not that good of a showing. Um, on to the that concrete there, I couldn't go down low as quickly as I could, and getting into the, my firing position while crouching, that I need to improve on. I haven't shot crouched fast ever, but just shot crouched in a long time. Um, when I was in high school and college, I did do precision. Uh, small bore for like 50 yards at a uh, very, you know, 22 and 177 air gun at very small targets. And I shot that crouch, but it's been a long time and I didn't get the transition into it before. So, uh, that target is so shot up. I'm not, I have no idea of telling you how good the hits were. I just know we did hit it. You can hear from the report. Um, I'm not sure we have the rounds to do that again. Uh, if we don't, I can do a reload. I've got one more uh, mag in my back most pouch. I'm winning these knockoff G codes. Um, these are got off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, I wanted the real ones. I mean, I could afford them. I just, uh, I'm an impatient bastard who doesn't like to wait for the real ones to be in stock. So, uh, so far they're working okay-ish. They are not as good, but uh, they hold on to the mags well. Uh, they just don't stack as tight on the belt together. All right, well, uh, enough bullshit talk. Let's uh, do one more run. I missed a shot while prone. Get us on safe. Ah, I missed a shot while prone. Ah. I like those mags though. All right, well, um, I think that's it for uh, this video, guys. For everyone who came by and watched, thank you all so much. I greatly appreciate you. Comment down below the word spaghetti so I know you made it to the end, and I will heart your comment and show you lots of love. Um, I really appreciate that. By the way, I've got a channel on Twitch. Uh, it's called Battlespace Live Action. We'll probably have to change the name to match this channel's Gamer Got Guns. Uh, if you'd like to come over and watch me play video games live, uh, come chat about guns, about games, about life. Uh, fun fact about games and this particular gun, this uh, Daniel Hens CDM 4v7, uh, this is gonna be in the new Battlefield game. I actually uh, did not know that when I bought the gun. Uh, would it have influenced my purchase? Absolutely, I would have bought it anyways, but uh, Probably about sooner, sooner. But hey, um, so far, I like it, seems reliable. Very gassy, a lot of recoil for a mid-length gas to AR. Maybe I'll put a heavier buffer in there. Um, mag seam quality. I'll do a full review on this guy later if you guys want to, but I mean, it's an AR-15, it's the end of the fence. It's, it's great, what do you want me to say, you know? <laughs> Anyways guys, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.
Grandos do suck, yeah. Fuck <laughs> Grandos. Only if they consent, Andrew. Otherwise, it's how you go to jail. Eh. I'll take my chances. There's only more randos in jail. I'm going to hell. I can see the truth. No, you don't have to lie.